date is October 30th, 2017, and the time is about 12 noon California time. My name is Laurel Herrera with Securus Telesales, and I have my good friend Johnny Bolton. And Johnny, you've been nice enough, man, to provide us with your eyewitness of our live challenge. And and with that in mind, I have some questions for you. And the first question I have for you, Johnny, is what is your uh, sales background or tell us a little bit more about your background? I started off selling home improvements when I was a real young guy. Um, got the hang of it pretty quickly. Went from minimum wage to about 5000 a month. Um, and that was over 30 years ago. So my lifestyle changed dramatically when I got into professional selling. Um, I was offered a opportunity to sell on the phone. I had never done that before. And it was kind of scary for me. But I said, you know what, let's just try it. Um, I didn't make any money my first month. I didn't make any money, like maybe a little bit my second month. My third month, I made $20,000. And I said, I, wow. I think I'm on to something really good. And that was, again, over 30 years ago. And wow. so I had quite a career, all 100% by phone. <laughs> wow, well, that's amazing. Uh, so that'll that'll get a guy spoiled. Absolutely. You've had a rich a rich background on the phone business, that's for sure. Now, let me ask you a question. What motivated you to take the live challenge? I know you took the live challenge several weeks ago, and I'm not shy to say this, but initially we lost you to a competitor. Uh, and it's okay with me, but I mean, it changed everything, right? I mean, so my question to you is what motivated you, one, to take the challenge, and second, to come back? <laughs> We're just cool because you're such a talented individual man well i looked at is a great question it's a fair question i looked at this opportunity and i said you know the commission it's higher elsewhere and the leads well they give away leads for free elsewhere and i didn't have enough information to know what i was really talking about uh, so I did some research, got um, maybe partially through the uh, process with a couple other companies, and then it started to dawn on me what was happening, that if they're going to give you leads for free, it's going to be junk leads, cheap leads, old leads. They're going to bombard you with those. It's the spaghetti principle in sales of throwing enough up against the wall and hopefully somebody sticks. There's no vesting. So what I was really doing was signing up for a very, very um, uh, high stress, exhausting job building someone else's opportunity. Um, well, and then I, on the I, other I, side, it just, yeah, go ahead. You know, for us, I mean, sometimes people don't under, understand the whole dynamic, right, of what we do. And there's there's different variables, right? It's not just having a good lead. It's it's a mixture of things. But I have another question for you, Johnny. Did you experience a moment of impact the first time that you witnessed that live testimony? I mean, the live challenge. Did you witness it? A moment of impact for you? The impact was, the answer is yes. Impact for me was, man, this guy is a pit bull. This guy, Lauro, you know, I would have blown off that lead that he turned, you know, he, he turned it around, turned that negative into a positive and, and wound up, you know, going through the whole presentation, which did not, re you know, it didn't result in a sale that time at that time. But I said, I've got something to learn from this guy, how his attitude never wavered. He was, uh, you know, uh, the alpha. He was not going to get sold that she didn't need insurance or that, you know, his, he wasn't on the right track. Uh, so, you know, you dusted off yourself after that call and you were still sparkling and ready to go on the next one because 
she didn't win the war of words. She tried her best to persuade you, you know, a lot of different things and you stayed on track. And a lot of times, you know, uh, what, it, what it said to me was, okay, uh, this is a lead that I would have gone, Hey, you know what? If you don't like me, my company, well, I got plenty of leads to call. I don't need to deal with this. But what I learned was the impact is, you know what? This is maybe the person who needs help the most. Yeah. And so you you took all the way through till she knew exactly what she would be saying yes or no to if she even qualified. And that right. was a huge impact for me. Great. And the last question I have for you, Johnny, is who would you recommend this opportunity to or what kind of a what kind of a background would you would you recommend this to? What kind of a you know a person or, or maybe sales background that that is going through your mind that you would recommend? Our because our our we have a humble opportunity here, man. It's such a ba- <laughs> it's such a basic product, right? Final expense coverage. It's basic. It's humble, but a lot of people over they overlook final expense, Johnny. And someone with your experience at the highest level, what kind of person would you recommend here to come and check us out? Uh, Someone who is tired of working for someone else who has sales skills, sales ability, maybe a a good communicator. I I don't think if you've got terrible speech impediments and mumble and can't get over that, I don't think phone sales is maybe for you, but if you speak clearly and you've had some success in sales and you're tired of working for the man, tired of working for somebody else building their future, and you really want your own business where you have your customers, you have lifetime vesting, you know, you, you are building your own upfront big cash and long-term residual income with a company that's not going to go away. It's going to stay. These carriers are older than all of us. Yeah. They've been around some of them over a hundred years. That's exactly. strength. That's stability. Absolutely. That's, that's the person who's like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to keep trading my hours for dollars. I'm going to build something for myself and my family for the future. And I'm going to make a lot of money this year for myself. I think that's the, the, the man or woman who really should take a hard look at this. Awesome, bro. Well, thank you so much, Johnny, for your eyewitness testimony. And, you know, with that said, would it be okay for you to provide your contact information to people on that listen to this? And, you know, sometimes people think that we're setting you up, you know, we're paying you to do this. But for anybody out there, you know, they can listen, you know, call you up. Sure. No, no problem at all. Uh, my email is smartmoney52 at gmail. And anybody can call me at 818-949-8833. And if you have any questions, if I have time, I'm not on a call, I'd be happy to answer them for you. And if you Thanks. leave me a message, I'll get back to you. Awesome, Johnny. Thank you so much, man.